Good morning, gang. Grab your Bibles. We're still in the book of James. We'll be for a while. James chapter 2, verse 10. James chapter 2, verse 10. We're only going to talk about one verse today. James chapter 2, verse 10. It says, For whosoever, who's whosoever? That's you. For whosoever shall keep the whole law, and yet offend in one point, he is guilty of all. So, whoever can will fulfill the whole law. All right, so what does that mean? Fulfill the whole law. It basically means you're perfect. I want you to think of all the laws. Okay, thou shalt not kill, thou shalt not commit adultery, thou shalt not steal. Thou shalt not covet, thou shalt not oh, uh, take the Lord's name in vain, keep the Lord's day holy. All of the law. I want you to think about all of the laws. And if you keep them all, has anybody ever kept them all? Mm -mm. Only Christ, only Jesus. He was the only one that kept the whole law. We can't keep the whole law. We are sinners. Okay, it says, whoever shall keep the whole law and yet offend in one point, he is guilty of all. Um, that word offend, it means um, he, it, commit one sin, okay? And yet offend in one point. And yet, okay, you, so you kept all the law except for you told a lie. This verse says, you are guilty of all all. Hmm. I want you to look, I want you to turn in your Bibles to Romans um, 3.23. Romans 3.23. Are you there? Romans 3.23 says, and you probably know it by heart, for all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. All right. So everybody has come short of the glory of God. We have all sinned. Now I want you to think about this. Okay, you're standing on the shore and you're standing next to me on the shore. Okay, and I say, ah, I think I can jump to, I, I can jump all the way. We're, we're on the east coast of America and I can jump all the way over to, um, to Ireland. Okay, and you say, ah, if you can, I can jump all the way to Ireland. Now, who is going to make it to Ireland? Neither one of us can jump that far, can we? Now, I bet all three of you can jump farther than I can jump. I'm, I'm, I'm positive, almost positive, that you can jump farther than me. But you know what? You'd still land in the water. It might be a little bit farther out, but you'd still land in the water. Neither one of us would get all the way there. That's what for all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. It's like we're standing over here and we're trying to reach the glory of God. Neither one of us can make it. One of us might get closer, but we're not going to make it. We cannot be perfect enough. This verse in... James chapter 2 verse 10 says for whoever shall keep the whole law and yet offend in one point break one law sin one time tell a lie have any of you ever told a lie um, how many a day mm -hmm. yeah okay if you've ever broken one law you are guilty of get this all of them now, I want to say this. Sin is sin. All sin in God's eyes is sin. It's black. It's dirty. You know, we talked about the walking down the middle of the cow barn. Mm, you might get some stink on you. You might get some poo on you. Yuck. It's all yucky. Now, if you just got a little bit, it's still yucky. Sin is that way. One little bit. 
sends us to hell. It all, it, 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 when God looks down, he doesn't go, oh, that's, that person's a bigger sinner than that person. He doesn't do that. We are all sinners. It says, if you commit one, if you offend in one point, you are guilty of all. I could go on and tell you what the rest of it, but we're going to talk about that next time. But I want you to understand, Christ died for our sins. And our salvation is not because, you know, we don't get saved because I'm better than the next person. We get saved because we come to Christ and we say, I am a sinner and I can't save myself. I am just as filthy as the next person and the next person and the next, because I'm a human being. And God knows it because he made us. And it says, if we have, if we, if we keep the whole law and yet we break one point, we are guilty of all of it. Christ forgave us so much. That's what I want you to think about today. If you've accepted him as your savior, he has forgiven you of so much much. Sometimes we get to the point where we think, oh, we're not as bad as that person, or I haven't sinned as much as that person, or I'm so much better than that person. Remember the, the verses we were talking about with the rich and the poor um, just the last time we were together? It's the same. Sometimes we look at people and we say, oh, they are so much uh, a better Christian than that person and we compare ourselves against one another and that's not a good thing because all it takes is one sin to send us to hell and yet Christ forgives us no matter how much we sin. I want you to think about that today. Um, it doesn't matter how much he still forgives us. Now, the important thing is that we get it taken care of and we go to him and ask forgiveness and change our ways and change those habits and become doers of the word. But, but in this situation that we're talking about right now with being having partiality, make sure we're not looking at, that, at the, the people next to us to compare ourselves with them because we are all sinners, Romans 3.23. That's a great verse for you to remember. But this one is too. For whosoever shall commit the whole, shall keep the whole law, and yet offend in one point, they are guilty of all. And we're going to pick it up from there next time. I love you. I hope you're having a great day. Bye bye. <laughs>